Hey everyone, welcome back to a fresh month of energy reports. Every month, I summarize the information that I channel for business owners and download the top five themes that come to me. It's exclusive to entrepreneurs, so if you're looking for relationship advice, I encourage you to do a search on YouTube for those types of readings or drop a comment below and I'll guide you to some resources I respect and follow as a fellow channeler and reader. We've got a strong people focused in December, which I think is pretty normal to be honest. It's the holiday season, so no matter how you do or do not engage in terms of celebrations or traditions, it all still applies. And I'm a really big champion here in my world at Sensible Woo, where we are very much reflected through our collective consciousness. And there's no real individual without operating in peace within the collective. As business owners, this is really, really important because the money flow that we talked about last month in November's monthly energy report, it speaks volumes about how we relate to that flow of energy now in the month of December. If you are plugged into the collective and also you understand your individuality within it, you are living fully in the both and expression of humanity. And then the type of commerce you engage in during this busy holiday purchasing season, it will be felt more by your customers without anxiety or desperation or chaos. I like to remind all the people who are in my community at this time of year, that you always have free will and total control. So if you want to change the vibe of your business sales from now through New Year's, we need to do a stop, drop, and roll and put out the emotional fires whenever they happen and reset. And yes, you can do this anytime in the month of December and as many times as you want in the month of December. And if you have to do that daily, then do it daily. The worst thing is if you ignore it completely and you'll be way better off than the people who do ignore it and they never do any of this at all. As you're going to hear about in this month's energy report, there is no precious risk ritual for this. And that lack of preciousness also shows up really big this month, which I can't wait to get into detail with you. But first, I would super appreciate the holiday gift of you taking your finger or your mouse and smashing that subscribe button right below this video and subscribe to my channel. Also click the thumbs up like button so I know that you are engaging with this content and you want more of it. That is the symbol that tells me that I should do more of these things for you and I'll keep producing it for you so that we can have another strong year together. If you really like this video, you are going to love my weekly newsletter that comes out on Saturdays. If you go to the show notes below this video, the very top link is to subscribe for free to that email. It arrives in your inbox every Saturday with a free tarot and Akashic reading. Special notice for December energy update watchers and viewers is that if you subscribe to the email list now in the month of December, Every single Saturday is going to be broken down quarter by quarter for a 2024 energy forecast for your business for the coming year. So if you want to get in on that goodness, those don't get published anywhere else. They're not here on YouTube. They're only through my email list. All right. I will see you over on email for those in-depth reports every week. Let's digest the big themes for December here on YouTube together, shall we? All right, here we go. The first theme is around letting go. And we have definitely been in an energetic releasing pattern. I would honestly say since like March 2020, and we all know what happened in that time period. So I'm not going to rehash that. But I feel like the releasing that's happening now is the result of coming back into a new normal and clearly seeing that the world is different and people are different. Now, we've all been on the planet for more than a day or two, so we know that nothing stays the same. And in this case, it really is not the same. You may notice that the outside wrapping literally looks the same, like it might be a person who hasn't changed their appearance or might be a business that you work with where their branding is still the same branding, but the values underneath are no longer in alignment with you. And I'm here to give you the reassurance that there is nothing wrong with this. Growth is necessary. And this month energetically is inviting you to begin that letting go process so that you can step through the solar new year gateway 
Gateway on January the 1st with less baggage and have more room to maneuver around. So when you're less bogged down by all these things that you're carrying, you also get to have more fun. It's a really happy byproduct. And in order to have more space to let new contacts come in and new collaborations come in, we do have to go through a letting go process. The second theme for the month is to stop over analyzing. So when it's time to let go and move forward and we've moved through that first theme, the thing you'll notice that keeps you stuck might be a compulsive behavioral pattern where you have to dissect things repeatedly. Now you know how I feel about things like therapy on this channel. And if you're working with your therapist and solving some really big repeating patterns for yourself, then you know exactly what work you need to do. But if you're squarely in the metaphysical space, a really big growth moment right now is to embrace the energy from the fool in the tarot and feel that archetype in your everyday experience. When you look at that card and you see that merry wanderer traveling off the cliff, that, that, that is to represent taking the leap, taking the leap into the new thing, taking the leap into the new journey, having some faith that you are going to be caught by something soft <laughs> when you land. So how can you take that leap this month and have internal faith that you can do this without the things that no longer serve you, that you have cleared out by abiding by that first energy? theme. So now we get into the third theme, which is about that preciousness point that we talked about in the introduction of this video. So preciousness has no place without substance. What this means is that these first two themes we've just examined about letting go and not overanalyzing, they set us up for the active letting go process. But when it's time to simply put the thing down or walk away from it, there's a collective feeling like things have to be wrapped up and prepared to be gifted. And that just isn't the case. Like you can just leave it. You can just put it down. You can close the energy like putting the period on the end of the sentence or as a very famous brand says, just do it. But then there's the flip side of this, which is starting new things and beginning on a new adventure, energetically speaking. And in this case, there's a hesitation that can happen where you don't move forward with a new action because the sun, the moon, and the stars aren't in perfect alignment for you. So I heard this discussed in another community in a really interesting way. They talked about it as unhooking from superstitions and seeing modalities like astrology as a form of holding on to superstitions, which I do agree happens when any of those modalities become a crutch or they get treated like religious just gospel. I, however, <laughs> like to think of it more practically as preciousness because we tend to be so fragile about the things happening in our lives. And I think we're a lot tougher than that. So let yourself kind of bumble through the things <laughs> with the intention of getting to the other side. We're not just bumbling for the sake of bumbling. If you find you're bumbling in a circle, we got a problem. But if you're just trying to get to the other side and it's just not perfect and you wobble along the way, no one honestly cares. But if you stay put and you don't make the changes you need to make, you are going to lose a lot of momentum in the new year because then you're going to be forced to play catch up after January 1st. And that leads us into our fourth theme, which is all about clearing backlogs and gifting yourself time and space to really think through your problems and come to a considered conclusion about whatever it is that needs to be done. And I'm going to be really honest with you. I thought that this was just me having this problem for the last couple of months. And then I sat down to do my channeling for this update and this topic of making time to get caught up. It came out so strongly. I literally spent extra time asking my guys if I had fallen into an ego state while doing the reading. And I was like, no, no, if, if I have, I need to reset and come out of that and go back into this channeling. But apparently I am not alone. And that was some pretty good data to find out. Usually I tend to be doing things a little bit early compared to a lot of other people. And so now I have some energetic evidence. And then in regular real life, non-channeling space, I also had some evidence of this shortly after my channeling session. Session, which made me see how much people are working on getting caught up, but they aren't really talking about it right now. So in the same vein of not being precious about things, the act of getting things done means clearing backlogs. 
Now, I'm a data manager by trade, so I don't think backlogs are necessarily the most sexy of things, but also I think they're really important, so I might be a little biased here. But I think that even though it could be really mundane for you, like your administrative to-do list, sometimes there are backlogs that are actually really impactful and really important to get through. And in this case, in my channeling, I saw very clearly that there are some folks in our collective in the business world who have some really honk and huge things that are really sorely backlogged. So here I'm talking about big stuff like financial transactions and overdue payments that need to be paid or getting critical home office hardware fixed like computers. Maybe you need to do something that just isn't the most fun thing on your to-do list, like calling the cable company to upgrade for a better internet connection. That is a backlogged activity too. Or it could even be really hard conversations like letting go of clients or contractors who just don't fit your business model anymore. And I used to live down south and we call these come to Jesus moments. It's the openly acknowledged reckoning that you have with yourself. And my lovelies, it's time. <laughs> you can do this. And all of this is just more evidence. Those first few energetic themes from the month really showing up here in an actionable state. The really cool thing that I am loving about these December energetic themes shows up in the fifth and final theme for the month, which is inviting in peacefulness. And I loved this as the capstone for December because I feel like this is what we're all honestly trying to do here. You know, who doesn't want peace in their business activities? You might have noticed that the byproduct of the first four themes that we've looked at is spaciousness and an invitation into peacefulness, which is what happens when we have more space to think and to breathe and to move around and be more creative. My guides showed me that this is actually kind of scary for some people, especially if you've predominantly known fight or flight as the primary feelings in your business activities. If you're more used to clients complaining and having disagreements and having to chase down payments and that's the norm, to have the opposite feels really weird. <laughs> like the lack of chaos is somehow wrong. But 2024's energy that's right around the corner, it's definitely going to be a year of methodically doing and getting stuff done. Like I think that the fourth theme about clearing the backlog is going to continue well into the new year, actually. It's not flashy, it's not glamorous, but it's the stuff that sets you up for the bigger and flashier energy of a year like 2025. Um, already, I'm kind of picking up on the energy of 2025, and it's looking to be a little bit more big. <laughs> but before big things, there's always a setup, and 2024 really feels like the setup. So I think we'll see more of that bleed into our world actually by the end of 2024. But this December of 2023, it's time to get familiar with the idea and feeling of peace, which can really truly be a massive jump forward for some individuals. What you will probably notice is that for every person who does this individually, it's then reverberated throughout the collective energy. So if you notice that your business activities start to feel a little less fraught with anxiety, you're probably feeling not only your own energetic shift, but also the CEOs around you, which is pretty cool when you think about it. I would love for you to drop a comment on this video and tell me which of these themes shows up the most for you in the month of December. Remember to click that subscribe button and click the thumbs up like button on this video so I can keep bringing you more and more of this content. And then if you want more, you can click the link in the show notes below this video to subscribe to my weekly newsletter. You can get that free reading in your inbox every week or you can also go VIP and get the $9 a month newsletter subscription where you get extended readings for your business in your inbox every Sunday to help you start your week right in your business. And all that information is in the show notes below. So until next time, have a wonderful month of December. It really is beautiful energy that's setting up. I know it's a lot of work, but you can totally do it. So remember to be sensible, be woo, and most of all, be you. I'll see you later.